Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be an honest review of all the classes I took my first term as a CS major at an Ivy League school. Honestly, this is inspired by Katie Tracy. But I used to watch a lot of these and I know a lot of you are either applying to college right now or trying to choose a college and you might be interested in seeing what college classes actually look like. So with that in mind, let's jump into it. <laughs> So the way that course selection works at Dartmouth is that each class is one credit and then for each term you take three classes and we have three 10 week terms in a year so that means nine classes each year or 36 classes before you graduate but the requirement to graduate is 35 and you don't get any credit for AP or IB classes but you do get placed out of the interlevel classes so you're essentially allowed to skip them and move on straight to the advanced classes but you still need to take 35 Dartmouth classes in order to graduate. The first class I took is a requirement for all freshmen and it's called Writing 5. According to the official description, Writing 5 introduces Dartmouth students to the writing process that characterizes intellectual work in the academy and an educated public discourse. Basically, it's supposed to provide a foundation for all of your higher learning at Dartmouth in writing no matter what field you go into, whether you're in science and writing research papers, or I don't know, you're in a corporate job and writing memos, but essentially you'd use writing everywhere is their philosophy. There are like 30 different classes that can satisfy this requirement and they're all limited to 16 students each, which means it's like very discussion based. We have like a round table classroom and you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one feedback from your professor in order to improve your writing. There's also an easier version of this course called writing two and three, but that takes you two terms to complete the requirement rather than just one. And there's specifically writing two and three for international students. So a lot of international students would take that. I just skipped that and just moved into writing five because I did the IB. I was fairly confident in my writing skills, but that's another option at Dartmouth for people who are less sure of their background in writing. So there's like 30 different classes that satisfy this requirement based on your personal interests. There's classes about the Holocaust. There's classes about like food and humans relationship with food. One of my friends was writing an essay about how being vegetarian is bad, which you know, I'm sure there were like people that argued on both sides in that class. Um, there's a class in the pursuit of happiness, which is a really popular one. There's ethics of human en enhancement. There's dramatic storytelling. There's sports science. There's a million different things. So it's all very tailored to your individual interests and you get to improve your writing based on a topic that you really like. The one that I took was called Image in Text. This class looks at a variety of works that combine image and text to tell stories, from memes to advertisements to graphic novels. How, we will ask, do words and images play with, against, or of one another when we read these texts? How has their combination helped authors to create fantastical new words, document the playfully quotidian, or navigate very real and frequently dramatic personal or national histories? Basically, we had a bunch of different texts that we read for this class. There were weekly readings and weekly discussion posts. We did Citizen, which is a lyric sort of hybrid image and text. We did a graphic novel called Watchmen. We also looked at the TV show Watchmen um, by HBO. We looked at advertisements. We looked at a couple other comics. It was a very chill class, um, very fun. Honestly, we would have these like super weird discussions in class. And I love that like you didn't have to have a thoughtfully polished in order to say it out loud in class which made it really interesting. So the structure for this class, we had 15% for attendance and participation in class discussions, and then 10% of our grade came from these weekly discussion board postings that we would have to post after doing that week's readings. And then 10% um, came from two small essays that you had to write. And then 25% was one major assignment that you, do, that you had to do based on a text of your choice. I did it in a poem called Landscape with the Fall of Icarus. So all of the assignments in this class are like very up to you. You can choose what you want to write about. Like you can choose something from the things you've looked at in class. But then for the final assignment, which was 40% of our grade, you could literally write about anything in the whole world that you wanted. There was no given topic. Um, so I wrote mine about the book Citizen, or I well, it's not really a book, it's more of a poetry. Well, technically it's a lyric. Okay, so I wrote mine about the lyric citizen um, and that was 40% of your grade. But for everything, you had like multiple drafts. You would submit one draft, get feedback on it, and then you could go to office hours, which is like you can book you can schedule like so professors will schedule one-on-one -on -one meeting time with students um and then you can sign up for that on calendly and you can get like more feedback on your draft and ask questions so the focus is really on like improving your writing more than you know what you come in with and can you prove that you know stuff to get good grades it's not about that 
This was probably my easiest class. I really enjoyed it. We looked at some super interesting stuff. So I'm really glad that I think I managed to choose and I got very lucky that I chose the perfect um, writing class class for me. But there's so many out there that whatever you're interested in, you can find a great fit for this requirement. So the second class that I took was called CS10, Problem Solving Using Object-Oriented Programming. Motivated by the problems that arise in a variety of disciplines, this course examines concepts and develops skills in solving computational problems. Topics covered include abstraction, modularity, structures, and algorithms. This was basically a crash course in like CS algorithms part one. We did everything from binary search trees to heaps and priority queues, tax queues, graphs, um, all these search algorithms, DFS, BFS, the Kshitra's algorithm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, you guys can trust me in the comments. So essentially, at Dartmouth, there's like an intro level CS course for people who have never done CS before, but I managed to skip that because I have the AP credit. That course is called CS1 and it's in Python. But then this is the second computer science course, um, which is also the second prerequisite for declaring a CS major, um, and this one's in Java. I really enjoyed this class. It was amazing. Um, the professor was amazing. The teaching assistants were amazing. The labs were actually really interesting. Like I remember for one of our labs, we were basically building like Photoshop. And then for another one, we were building like a paint application, but it was like Google Docs where like two people or like any number of people could edit simultaneously. And we learned how to do all this stuff with like servers and communicators. It was really cool. This was like the class that got me the most excited. Um, so structured, we had problem sets, we had six problem sets spread over the course of the term. These are basically like assignments that you get. You have like a week to do them and you can go to office hours and get help from the teaching assistants or from the professor. And these were worth 30% of your grade. And 10% of your grade were short assignments, which were basically like homework, homework assignments assigned after every class. And they were really simple, they took like 10 or 15 minutes. But it was basically just to make sure that you understood a concept. And then you had also had the chance to resubmit them if you weren't happy with your grade and get bumped up. Um, and then another 5% was something called programming drills, which means you get put into section, like a section of about 10 people with one teaching assistant. And then every week you, every week, every week, every, every week you meet for an hour um, and you go over these programming exercises. And if you have questions, you can ask the TAs or like the teaching assistants. Basically an opportunity for you to practice that week's concept. And basically everyone gets like the full 5% as long as you show up to the drill, because you can keep trying again if you don't get the solution right. And then there were two midterms for this class, which is a lot. Like my writing five class had like one paper and one final paper, but then this class had two midterms, which were 15% of your grade each. They they changed it this year. So it used to be like in-person exams. This year, because of COVID, they didn't want to have too many people in one exam hall. So they made it take home an open book, open note. But I mean, the open book, open note thing doesn't help much because you're writing code and you you give, like they give us these wacky problems. And I remember this one problem about like Netflix and some recommendation engine and the top K people that watched a similar movie. And like, there's a time bomb ticking. There's like a time clock going like tick, tick, tick in the side of your canvas quiz. That, that's like the most challenging part of the course. And then we had a final exam worth 25%, also take home, open book, open note. The workload for this class, we didn't have like weekly readings or anything. I personally just used like the lecture notes and slides and everything and practice problems. Um, so most of them, like each problem set took me like a couple of hours, depending on the difficulty. There were some problem sets that were harder than others, but then the good thing is that because there are so many teaching assistants, like, and there's so many office hours that on a given day, like there's a chance that at least two or three teaching assistants would have like an hour, an hour and a half long office hours. So you could always go and get help. Um, but like we really bonded as a class, I think with this one, cause sometimes like you would show up to office hours and there would be 20 people and like you would know that like they're not gonna get to your questions you would just sit on the floor and kind of help each other out and i made quite a few friends that way because we would all just keep showing up to office hour questions um sometimes like not even related to the assignments we just had questions about other things um related to the lecture yeah this was a great class it's definitely made me really excited to take more cs classes love that the cs department is so approachable but also how practical it is like they really tried hard to make our labs very interesting and I feel like there's just so much like cool stuff that you did with that, like you're doing actual stuff. You know, it's not high school anymore where CS is just Java programs, like in your writing, like sort of isolated bits of code that don't actually work, that don't actually work to do anything. I remember this one problem set we were building like this Kevin Bacon game where you were seeing how many actors are connected to like a certain actor. And then it was like, you could modify it however you wanted. And it was super cool. Enough, anyways, enough rambling about this class. Um, 
The professor was also really cool. He had like a bunch of interesting stories to tell us, which literally made lectures interesting. Oh, by the way, um, I was like super lucky in that in case like any of you are wondering like how hard are they, like I didn't find any of my classes too hard. Like I managed to get all A's, which I don't think is gonna be like you know, happening throughout my time at Dartmouth, but I'm glad that I ended first term with all of that. And then I also ended up getting a citation in this class, which is basically kind of like our version of an A plus or like an A, like you kind of get like a little plus sign on top of the A or like, I guess it's an asterisk. Um, and you just get like a comment from the professor. It's a very Dartmouth thing. Um, we don't have an A plus, we just have like A with a citation, A, A minus, B plus, A goes down. Okay, and then finally, the last class I took was called